The Roma minority um, are also known as uh, Sinti travelers. They're pop popularly known as the gypsies. I'm researching the population of the Roma ethnic minority in Central and Eastern Europe. Um, this group consists of about 5% um, of some of the countries in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, they face discrimination on a day-to-day -day basis in the communities in which they live um, from the members of the majority society, but really are also victims of systematic discrimination. In terms of the access to justice issues that they face, the real question is how can um, this minority population um, obtain justice for the discrimination that they suffer? And in many of the countries in which we're looking at, the laws on the books are fairly uh, robust in their favor. There are protections for uh, discrimination. Uh, the real question is, how does this minority access, um, become aware of the rights under their law, and get to court, have their day in court, and then really have uh, you know, a potential victory in a case be meaningful? We're looking at um, uh, really focusing our study on the use of public interest litigation, um, as I referenced earlier, and how um, test cases and strategic cases can have a broader impact. So one, one of the big cases um, that has been ongoing for 10 years and has just resulted in a legal victory um, is the case of school segregation, discrimination in education in the Czech Republic. Um, here, this case was taken with 18 children. Um, the system in the Czech Republic Republic is such that uh, children take a test really to track them and there are separate schools called special schools for mentally disabled children. And as a result of the bias in these tests with language and some of the cultural questions that were being asked, what we found on a statistical basis was that Roma children were essentially being systematically tracked as a result of the biases in these tests to attend these schools for the mentally disabled. Uh, we challenged this. Um, this was a case that was led by the European Roma Rights Center at the time, first through the Czech courts, um, in making the case that the proof was there um, that this educational system um, was segregation and amounted to legal and unlawful discrimination. Um, the case lost at the national court system and uh, the case was appealed to the regional uh, human rights body, the European Court of Human Rights. Uh, the case was filed in 2000 and it took a while um, to get there uh, to the chamber, but there was the first uh, decision in which actually the court found that um, discrimination was not proven in this case. We appealed to the Grand Chamber and the victory was handed down in November of last year of 2007 in which the court, really this is a groundbreaking legal decision also for the content of the anti-discrimination protection under the European Convention of Human Rights, um, that found that the statistical evidence um, that was brought forward in this case uh, did prove that although there wasn't an intent to discriminate discriminate against this Roma ethnic minority, that the impact and the evidence was absolutely clear that the tests were biased, um, resulted in um, proven de facto segregation, um, and this constitutes unlawful discrimination. Well, in order to build this case, to begin with, we had to work with uh, statisticians to come up and look w at the evidence, building the evidence to prove how the impact, the discriminatory impact played out um, through the through the testing process. And right now that we do have the legal victory, I think going forward, um, we need to build alliances, certainly with education experts um, and others, um, and maybe child development experts, um, who, testing experts, all who can contribute to reviewing the policies, reviewing the tests, and ensuring that the Roma minority um, have an equal access to equal education.